Today I'm gonna to show you a favorite recipe of mine and I'm gonna combine it with Pillsbury sugar cookie dough. I'm making a panna cotta dessert, which means cooked cream in Italian. So basically it's an eggless custard. I'm using cranberries, which scream holiday. I love this product because it's perfect every time, consistent every time. So this is gonna act as a crust today for the bottom of my panna cotta. Now you might have sugar cookie dough laying around because you're decorating Christmas cookies with the kids. And this is for the adults. And in go the sugar cookies. Bake them at 350 degrees, 10 to 12 minutes as you always would. So now we're gonna make the panna cotta. Don't be afraid, this is really easy. If you've ever made anything with gelatin, you can do this. You take cream, warm half of it with a little bit of confectioner sugar. You don't want this to be too sweet. The sugar cookies are sweet. We're gonna make the cranberries tart. The other half is gonna go with one package of powdered gelatin. And we're just gonna dissolve the gelatin in the cream. First in the cold cream, and then we're gonna add the warm cream to it. I have one fun secret ingredient in my panna cotta, and it's a little bit of Greek yogurt. It gives a tang and an extra beautiful texture. Whisk a little bit. So into these ramekins, I'm gonna pour my mixture. These will just go in the refrigerator to set. They'll probably take about 30 to 45 minutes to set, just in time for your cookies to be cooled and then to assemble the dessert. While I'm waiting for my panna cotta to set, I'm making my cranberry sauce. This cranberry sauce is not what you think it is. This is more for dessert. I'm using fresh cranberries, which are just everywhere this time of year. I'm adding cranberries into my pot. And cranberries do need a fair amount of sugar. I'm gonna put about three tablespoons in here. And I'm just gonna cut a half an orange. If you were to be able to find blood oranges, I would highly recommend them. But a regular navel orange is great. Squeeze into the cranberry mix and just drop the orange in. That wonderful oil from the orange skin will just perfume the whole sauce. My sugar cookies are ready. My panna cotta is set. It's time to assemble. So just take one of the cookies, place in the center of the plate. The panna cotta is set and beautiful. You just loosen the edge with a knife, the panna cotta on top of your cookie, and shake. So you just wanna top the panna cotta with the cranberry, and I like to cascade down the side a little bit. And then you're ready for your guest. This is Pillsbury sugar cookie panna cotta with cranberry orange compote. 